Like the video if you enjoyed, subscribe, and join the membership for exclusive content in the description. gentleman an occasional estrogen who knows her role which is being a submissive wife all right so you've seen the title title of this is something along the lines of submissive wife begs to be spanked the majority of men do not know that estrogens extremely desire to be put in their place they're the true misogynist <laughs> they're just the misogynist on the opposite side of the spectrum okay see they say men are the misogynist on the spectrum of we think we're better than you estrogens are on the misogynist of i want a man to be better than me so i'm lesser right but they're just misogynists on the opposite end okay <laughs> So, estrogen's desire to be put in their place. It's just their nature. It's always been their nature. If an estrogen makes 80000 and you ask her, well, at least in the West, okay, and you ask her how much does her man have to make, right, they're typically going to be, you know, people that go care about money a lot compared to the person, so they decide from there. So, they'll go, at least what I make, but and more. <laughs> Why? Because that is literally going... I am an estrogen, so if I'm making this much, a man must be better than me. I can't be better than him. He's a man, right? But see, they don't know. They just even revealed that, okay? But deep, deep, deep in their wiring, just as a species, they know that a man should be leading them and is better than them. And they desire for that alpha dominant man who, put, who doesn't put up with her nonsense, who will check her, put her in her place, but who's firm and, and most importantly, will leave her if she does not follow his rules, follow his leadership, because because they'll they'll they'll, they'll teeter on playing the game of they'll be bad, and they know you'll never leave, so they're not truly learning. They have to know. Okay, if I go too far, daddy will leave, master will leave. Okay, so let's get into this, all right, video. Let's continue. <laughs> All right, so let's get into this video. All right, so let's just break this down. <laughs> Typical estrogen yabba dabba do talk. She's nagging, I 100% guarantee, about something that just does not matter. And this is how estrogens just ruin relationships. Men built everything on planet Earth, not estrogens, okay? But estrogens, for whatever reason, see, estrogens wait until man builds building, then they come in and try to go, see, you should move the, this here and this, and this. But see, they never could have built a building, right? See, they don't go and build buildings first. They move into our building. So for whatever reason, they think that they can tell us what to do and you never, ever allow that. You are the man and you let her know. See, you establish this from the beginning when you first interact with them. Okay, if you're thinking about taking them serious, I lead. Are you submissive? That like that. That's how that goes. Okay, I lead. Are you submissive? And then that will because even estrogens, even though they're known to lie about pretty much everything, she won't want to submit a, admit that she's submissive unless she's actually submissive because there's no kind of manipulating out of really the word submission. Well, they try to kind of in the sense of like, well, I submit to the right man, but no, you go. Are you submissive? I run the home. Okay? That's what you do. I have the final say. Add that in there as well, too. So, typical just, she's nagging about something that just doesn't really matter. And now what estrogens do with their little nagging, they've been nagging for hundreds of thousands of years, they now cause another problem. Estrogens are not good in, like, conversations that are passionate because they're just far too emotional. So, they either get violent. If you didn't know, estrogens commit the majority of domestic violence now. They either get violent or they start like going, that's why your dog passed away. That's why your mom is. That's why this happened to you. That's why this with your job. And that's what they, they start getting personal because they take everything personal. Just like when you say a topic about estrogens and you go, estrogens do this, right? There's always just that estrogen that goes, well, I don't do it or so-and-so doesn't do it because they take everything personal. 
Okay, if you're saying a topic like dogs have teeth, you're obviously talking about the majority of dogs. You don't go, not all dogs. Okay, but estrogens, they take everything personal. So she just escalated this to a situation, which you're about to see, that didn't need to happen. Okay, because see, he shouldn't be going, but th this, shouldn't, this, sh this should be illegal. <laughs> estrogen should never be able to like really yell at their husbands, man, because it just makes the situation completely worse. Men despise nagging okay her mind needs to go he's leader of the home if that's his like i said my piece he's leader of the home he makes the final decision and it just it just ends there when estrogen start feeling like they can do this and then then you just concede to it see now she see she, you lost like 10 points on the leader scale 10 points on the alpha male scale because now she thinks oh i just have to do that again and then he'll just do what i want again and then you did it again now you just lost 50 points now she's like i'm leading the relationship it, it goes if you give inches to estrogens, it goes miles. So they have to know. You go, that's my final say. It's over. That's how it has to be, man. You can't give them wiggle room to try to gain more power. It just is what it is. Their role is submissive wife. <laughs> right, so, right. So, so th this is typical estrogen. She just escalated this to a completely different situation. Now, now, depending on if this is a good man or not. See, a man might just really just knock all your teeth out, right? <laughs> Okay, but you might be dealing with a civilized man, even though she's uncivil, clearly, right? And civil man, he's just going to spank you. Uncivil man, you just lost your teeth right there. And she's just, again, and this is, <laughs> if you've ever, don't argue with estrogens, but we all, we've all been through it. They're just too emotional and irrational for it. Men, we can get passionate, but we're still logical about everything. Estrogens, man, it's violence now. It's insulting your mothers, your dogs, you, everything. That's what they just do. So she just took this to a whole different level. He gets slapped. He goes, hmm. Now she runs. So that that's actually a good sign. Because that shows that she knows, okay, he's not the type of guy that, like, will go for that. Like, something's about to happen. I'm emotional. I'm an emotional creature. I just was doing stuff. I, my gender doesn't think, really. Okay, so she that's good. She at least knows he's not putting up with this nonsense. No, so she no, takes off. Right, so but but typical estrogen, she slaps someone and then she's shocked. There's a consequence. Grabs her by the head too, which I'm. Oh, can I say that? Which is an interesting move, <laughs> which some may say was deserved because she literally slapped him. Okay, so a little grabbing by the hair after that. Some may say, hmm, well deserved. So she bites the guy though. So, but this. So, but that. So we don't know what they're saying. But so this, this is fake because estrogens just don't have a real power. <laughs> So we're just going to skip out that and, and go to the realistic part where he just easily gains control. Just gives it to her again and grabs her by the hair. Good, not, ooh, not, uh, some will say good work. <laughs> She's damn naughty. What's wrong with her? Okay. She's out here biting and all type of stuff. You slap it. They're, they are agents of destruction, man. Like they just do stuff, destroy everything and then run away. Like it's your fault. <laughs> like this is just what they do, man. So. Some may say she deserved a hair pull here and a spank, okay, for just slapping, nagging, pointing fingers, like, so, some would say, good job. <laughs> Alright, and right in front of the kids, I think that's actually healthy for your children to, it is healthy, I'm gonna stand on that, <laughs> for your kids to know that you spank your wife. Because your daughter will grow up to just understand, like, man is leader of the home. And your, your son will grow up to know I must be strong for my family and discipline my family when, uh, when it's time. So I think that's actually healthy. Very healthy. So he didn't, he, he didn't give it to her good enough because she still has that, that, uh, that attitude in her. You got to spank that attitude out. You have to spank them. Until they're like, all right, man. <laughs> it's like a WWE wrestling move until they submit. Like you, like they have to, and you'll know, right? You have to spank them until it's like, okay, like, like, like you win. Okay, your daddy wins. It's over. 
Okay, like she still had that attitude in her. But uh, you know, the kids came, so fair enough. But you know, she uh, she she was she was she was bad. She was naughty. All right, so now let's get into this. Yeah, man, just living life. What type of nonsense is this? <laughs> Estrogen trying to rob man. Let's see where this goes. Oh no, never mind, never mind, never mind. I'll take that back. I think he was in her stuff and then she got her weapon to defend her stuff. Fair enough, but I mean you're you know, you're just an estrogen, you know, your capabilities <laughs> are limited compared to a man. So this, this is just easy. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> right, so you know, there's just no hope at all. Like even estrogen with weapons, it's like if you miss your first shot, like it's 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 over. It's completely just over because they're just physically weak. I remember like at age like 13, 12, like I fully realized like estrogens just are not as strong as us, and it was just easy to just overpower them, right? Adult estrogens, estrogens your age, it's it's just easy. So no, she just gets spanked. <laughs> it's just so funny because it's like, like they think they have power, but like it's so easy to just do that to a man. Like just bend them over and then just start spanking a man. And, th and they just have to sit there and take it until you decide to just let them go. And that is just very calming for their mind, man. It just is what it is. So, you know, she's mad about that. But... You know, this guy's obviously in her wagon and stuff like that, so that's not that's not good. I think I think he was taking her stuff. <laughs> so <laughs> you can't you can't do you can't do that. But again, you know, um uh I mean I don't blame her for getting a weapon in that situation. I mean somebody's taking your stuff. So but again, spanking her, you know, and this was just regular stuff, man, just spanking her, you know, you don't you don't hit her, you know. You know, closed hand and stuff like that on her face and stuff like that. But just some spanking just to let her know I'm a man, you're an estrogen, and this is like your place. Right? And that's just the reality. All right, so now let's get into this. Am I not wise? Your father has consented that you shall be my wife. What? All right, and this was just regular as well, too. And this is just a great thing also. So, um, yeah, uh, if your fathers said you were marrying so-and-so, you just married so-and-so. Like, there was just nothing you could do. People cared about virginity. And what people used to do as well, too, and I need to actually read upon this more. But apparently what, this, what people used to do is when you used to, um, what do you call it, pop her cherry, right? She loses her virginity. What they would do is the blood from that, because when you pop their cherry, blood comes out. They would put it, like, on a sheet, apparently. And then they would, like, put it outside so the neighbors know, like... My wife lost her virginity and things like that. And if the blood apparently, you know, didn't come out and that man slept with her, then he was like, oh, you're just a dirty little core. And he wouldn't take her serious. Just wouldn't take her serious. Right. And then everyone would know she slept around and then see because everyone wanted virgins and things like that. So fathers, knowing that estrogens are just irrational and emotional and don't know how to pick men because estrogens just don't understand life. Right. Fathers would just go. Here, here's my daughter. She's virgin. She's young. She's youthful. We've taught her to be submissive in the traditional roles. Me and my, and me and uh, her mother. Here is my daughter. And then I did one video on it, uh, but I had to private that. Then I did it again. Um, no, no, no. I privated that one. So all of that is going on the membership. Uh, but they used to give goats four daughters <laughs> like a lot of people don't know this man like so dudes are over here simping man like this still actually happens to this day like men used to show up just give a goat and then you just get a virgin wife a goat boom virgin wife for the rest of your life submissive cooks clean goat right so men used to you know receive payment for marrying off their daughter because we all know that the most valuable initiative can be is when she is youthful and she is a virgin so that's what used to just happen. So she gets a man in return because estrogens are, you know, at the end of the day, the main goals for them is just to get a husband and a dominant man, a leader man, and a provider, right? And that's pretty much it. And love, <laughs> right? So just everyone just knew that they're not going to try to really build kingdoms and stuff like that. That's just what they want. So, you know, you put a price tag on that. She gets what she's going to want in the end, what she won't get if you leave it up to her. And then man gets what he wants, a young virgin wife, right? Family gets payment. Everybody wins. Your dowry greed on hence. Ah! I will marry you. What does dowry mean again? I forgot, I forgot that word. 
I think that's actually important. I need to go into. I forgot what that means. Dowry. I think that's that's definitely something to do with marriage. I forgot. Hold on. This is actually important, guys. Uh, dowry. I forgot what this word means. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, the money, goods, or estate that an estrogen brings to a husband or his family in marriage. Uh, hold on. To get the bride's family to contribute a share of the cost involved in setting up a new household. I, th I think it means you give... I'm pretty sure it means you give money to get the wife. Thou shalt be married to be my wife. What? Back. Your dowry greed on hence? Ah! I will marry you. Thou shalt be married to no man but me. Mm. For I am born to tame you, Kate, and bring you from a wild Kate to a Kate conformable, as other household kids. He said, I am born to tame you. And that's really every, every husband that marries a wife. He's born to tame her. It's just the reality, okay? As the previous video I had that's on the membership that I had a private. Estrogens, man, like men are estrogens emotional cage, man. Like if you leave it up to them, they just destroy. They don't know how to control their emotions. They go too far with things. But when they know a man is no nonsense, that's when they'll actually be good people and do what they're supposed to do. Now, here comes your father. Make that time. For I must and will have Katrina to be my wife. This was regular uh, stuff, though. Truth, your house beat you with my daughter. This was this was regular stuff, though. Like she would be unruly and like I'm not gonna go along with the deal that was already made. That always happens, right? A dude would just spank her, and like they would just understand because, as I always say, every animal, every insect understands pain, but not every human and not every beast animal understands logic, which is why police officers walk around with um with uh, what's called weapons. Okay, that's. That's how that occurs, all right? And, and, and estrogens are like Pokemon. <laughs> I've been to put this in a video, so but I forgot. But here, here it is now. Estrogens are like Pokemon, man. Like, you know, they're out there in the what? And this is a perfect example. So listen, estrogens are like Pokemon. They're out there in the wild and stuff like that. You know, just, you know, Pikachu. They're just thunderbolting everywhere. Flamethrower, flamethrower everywhere. Okay, Ice Beam. Ice Beam. They're just destroying stuff because they don't have a trainer. It's their nature when they're wild. Just random attacks doing stuff. Just people just walking through the grass and all of a sudden, da -da 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 ice beam, you get attacked, right? And then you're like, whoa, 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 whoa. I don't want any beef. I'm just listening to the music, strolling in the grass. Man, matter of fact, I'll get out of your area. And then what does it say when you hit the run button? Can't escape. Fire blast, right? That's how that goes. <laughs> Right, and that's estrogens, man, just destroying stuff, randomly attacking stuff, being emotional and everywhere, right? So then you go, Psh, gotta do what I gotta do, spank attack, right? Fire style, right? You spank them, right? Reduce their HP to like two. And then you go, Pokeball, right? And then you throw the Pokeball, you catch them, and now that you caught them, now they're good people. Now they know how to act. Now they submit, Right? And that's just how it is. You know, now they have a trainer. So now when it's time to use Fire Blast, when it's time to use Ice Beam, now she's doing it at the right time. But without a Pokemon a trainer, she's doing it at awful times, freezing everything, burning everything, fainting trainers in their Pokemon, causing true havoc. Estrogens are like Pokemon. So this is just regular man. She was just run ruly. You know, he just spanked her and then she's like, oh, this is my reality. Father, Dominant man put me in my place. Make that time. For I must and will have Katrina to be my wife. And she just accepts her fate. No, Senor Petruchio, how speed you with my daughter? Yeah, so you know, boom, father came in. Alright, so let's look at this. Assume the position. <gasps> what? <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter what age, man. Estrogen still always want to be put in their place and want to feel like a man is better than them, man. Age 20, age 30, age 70. Okay, it's just the reality, man. So now let's go into the last scene. Well, well, we'll see. All right, so let's go into this. But I remember short story. I remember I was in the store and then, um, like, I seen I seen this older couple and then uh, she she was like. Uh, she wanted like something and he was like, have you been a good estrogen? And she's like, I've been a good estrogen. It's, they were like 60. Like, I'm not gonna lie. It was kind of like, it was kind of, what's the word? I don't use the word cute. 
but it, it was it was kind of um heartwarming it was like because you can tell like that's a real loving relationship and they've been together for a long time she knows her place right he's leader he's still dominant at like 60 and it was just very it was very uh cool to see all right so now let's get into this all right estrogen begging to be spanked as i always say men do not know that this is how estrogens think because estrogens they're not very confident people, so they don't want to be judged badly, all right? And we're in a current time, due to estrogens, of course, the true destroyers of everything, of this bumminism stuff, right? But deep down, estrogens actually want to be put in their place. I don't care if she's a bimminism or a regular estrogen or whatever. Estrogens get turned on a million times, infinite times more by a, a misogynist man compared to a male bumminist. Yeah, that man that's going, estrogens are my equal. Matter of fact, estrogens are better than me. And without an estrogen, I couldn't even survive. Da, da, da. Right? That guy does not get her as wet as the guy that goes, I'm a man. You're an estrogen. You're being bad. I'm just going to spank you. I lead this. I run this. Right? That's the guy she gets turned on by. Right? Estrogens say, oh, I dated this guy. He was bad. And that guy was bad. And that guy was bad. Why do they never go, I dated this guy who was just such a nice guy? They never talk about that. Because those are never the guys that they pick. All right, so let's get into this. You know, I've never been me. Not once. I can't even imagine it. It must be just awful. I don't believe anyone is ever better for it. All right, so this is okay, this is perfect. This is perfect. So listen to this, right? So see, man, logical, right? We're smart. We're logical. We build everything on earth, right? So she goes because again, this is the entire point. And th this is just great. Okay, this is a play, but this this is one hundred percent accurate. Great, great writing. Just like you can, why people love movies, because it's relatable and all this stuff, right? So Estrogen, she goes, um, I've never been beat, and uh, it has to be just, you know, terrible, right, to be beaten. But this is how Estrogens communicate, because Estrogens are cowards. It's just it's just a reality. They don't say what they really mean. They try to beat around the bush and hope people kind of catch on and kind of do it, because they fear rejection. Okay, so man takes this literal of what she said because that's what we do. We're logical. We don't waste time. We just tell the truth and we're confident. So we just say what we mean and mean what we say, right? So man goes, yes, it must be terrible, right? But look how she's positioned. She's positioned in a submissive type of stance. Like, um, I've never been beaten and it, it, it's like terrible, right? But she's staring at him a certain way and kind of giving a submissive pose, which means she, she wants to be spanked, all right? So let's just play this back again because this is actually important. Never been beaten. Not once. Awful. Right, like, see, it's awful, right? And I can't even imagine, right? Because, see, that's what society will tell her. Like, it's bad, right? So she's kind of showing, like, see, I agree with society, right? And see, man goes, yeah, it's bad. Either. I don't believe anyone's ever better for it. I tried getting myself. Right, so, but then she goes, she goes, okay, he's walking away, and, like, you know what? I'm going to shoot my shot. <laughs> I'm going to shoot my shot. Screw it, right? Okay, uh, I, I tried to do it to myself. Right, so he's like, what? What? You, but you just said you don't like it and it's terrible. What, what do you mean you did it yourself? Because she, estrogens talk a lot, but they're awful communicators. So she's just trying to throw stuff like, come in, put me in my place, daddy. Damn. To find out how it feels, really, inside. Right, so she goes, I did it myself to see how it feels uh, randomly. Not totally because I want a man to put me in my place. With this switch, for example. So look, I just randomly have this switch. <laughs> That I totally didn't just bring here to give to you so you can like put me in my place, but I'm trying not to say it directly so you don't say I'm stupid for wanting this. Tough thing. And see, it's it's not even big, Daddy. It's like small, so like it wouldn't even hurt that much. So like, want to try it? But I don't want this, right? This is this is how they communicate, man, because they're just cowardly. Man takes it. He goes, hmm. right, and he, he does it pretty firm. So she's like, oh my god, oh, he could, <laughs> he could, he could put me in my place. He, oh, he, he really swung that thing. <laughs> right, so she, she goes, so she, she musters up enough courage to go. She sees the swing. She's like, you know what, it is what it is. Right, he's got a good form. Okay, Ooh, I, just, you just do it. Right, so she mustered up enough courage to just ask. Right. So let's let us let us let us let's play it back again because after she's seen that firm that 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 form she said it is what it is that that that's the hidden crouching tiger of doom he's good at this it, it, it is what it is I'm just gonna ask <laughs> right so he's like who and she's like me, me right right so man's logical so he's like you just said it's terrible but, but they they just say anything the words mean nothing right so but she's like me 
All right, let's play this back again. So, you know, men, especially in today's society, estrogens are equal, never put them in their place, never spank them, that's terrible, that's oppression, blah, 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 blah. Right? So, so this is the modern man as well. He's, you can st tell he's still kind of a dominant man, so it's better than most modern men now. But he goes, I could never do this to you. Right? I, I could never, and that's the modern man. I could never put you in your place and spank. But I, I am telling you, estrogens long for it, desire for it. They want it rough in the bed. They like being smacked around. They like being called little names, little dirty little names. They like being choked. They like hair being pulled, spit on, peed on. I'm t a lot of, so I've heard. It's crazy, right? They like all this type of degrading, type of put in their place type of things, right? You got to find out what specific, specifically she likes. But they like all these type of things, right? But men don't do it for a long, a, a, a lot of reasons, man. Estrogens give the majority of child custody, 80%. Estrogens raise their children to be beta males compared to the dude they slept with. So then beta males grow up and think that estrogens don't like being put in their place and it's completely BS. Any estrogen watching this video knows she wants a dominant man to put her in her place and when she's wrong, to check her. If they're being honest, they'll admit that. And it's the reality. And they know they have a problem with checking themselves. So he goes, what's wrong with you? I could never do this to you. That's the modern man. I could never put you in your place. We're equal. Matter of fact, you're better than me. If I let him, never. <laughs> um, that's a great line. If I let him, never. I think he's, wait, wait, did he say, did she say if I love you or did she say if I leave you? Hold on. I don't know. She kind of, she didn't pronunciate right there too good i don't know if she said but if i love you or if i left you so you know typical man you lost your mind you know this is crazy this is oppression this is misogyny right and she's going but what what if i just asked you Oh, she just assumes the position? I don't hmm. feel it. Maybe not with your dress on. Yeah, and that, that's another thing too. Like estrogens will be like 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 harder. Like <laughs> Like you'll spank them. So I've heard. You'll spank them, right? And then like, you know, because you're not trying to just like completely just, you know, destroy her, you know. And you don't know her, you know, her level of pain completely what she what she wants, right? So you'll do it, right? And she'll be like, harder, 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 and you'll be like, and she'd be like, harder, like, like harder. And he'd be like, mm. <laughs> and, and he's like, yeah. <laughs> like Kool-Aid man, oh yeah, right? So she's like, yeah, yeah. And, and, and this is them. See, and you, you'll you never know because they'll look just like this. And you don't know she's gagging on stuff. Like she's taking all type of crazy ways, right? And you don't know, man. Like she's all just all pretty and, and all those type of things, man. And they just, they want, a man won't come and do this type of stuff to her. And she wants to. <laughs> Come on, please. Oh, so he's like, man, look, man, this is crazy. I've been raised to think estrogens are better than me and equal, and this is crazy. I'm out. Right? She's like, man, go back, please, put me in my place. Did you say please? Oh, oh. You're very struggling. How's that? What's his father? He uses his belt. He draws blood. No, he draws blood. Oh, this is getting crazy. Ah. <laughs> uh. Wait a minute, this is getting, this is getting wild. Right, but, but they're this freaky though, man. It's just, just like in the beginning, she's trying to play this, oh, I don't really want it, but here's here's a stick I just found, and and I ch it's so bad, I did it to myself, and it's bad, I want to do it to me, so we say how bad it is, not because I actually just want it. They're, they're, they're just cowardly. It's just their nature, it's not their fault, but like it, it's their nature. So she's just, been, this is real stuff though, okay? Like this really is how they think, man. So they're like, oh, I just want, I wear a shirt. This video's kind of longer than I thought it'd be, but I wear a shirt, man, because I don't care. <laughs> like, I'm a leader. I'm leading. I'm a lead, right? So I wear a shirt. So, like, Esther's getting it rough. She's salivating out the mouth. Like, she's on her knees. She's getting choked, right? Whenever It's my favorite shirt. Whenever I wear this shirt, man, the looks estrogens give me, man. It's crazy. And they look just like her. 
just like how they look all danty, long hair, right? They talk like, so how are you? Right? It's, and I'm telling you, man, the looks they give me, man, it's like, oh, that's what he's on. For him to even wear that shirt and the, the way, like, I look with my face and stuff like that. Because you got to look, like, firm and stuff like that. And we look at estrogens, you got to look at them like you're better than them. <laughs> and I'm telling you, man, oh, my goodness, man. Like, But I'm not going to go too deep into that as membership stuff. But just look confident, look dominant, man. And, like, with the shirt I wear, like, they look at my shirt like, oh. And then look at my face and like, oh, no. He's, like, really on that. He doesn't care. For him to even wear that, he has to be on that time. And to just wear that, like, in public, man. Like, And they'll just, they'll just straight up just tell me, like, I love your shirt. Like, they'll just tell me. They'll just tell me. I love your shirt. Okay, and then a lot really are kind of mean and like, I love your shirt, maybe want to like try it a little bit, but they're just not that straightforward and things like that. And depending on what you want to do is depending on what you want to do from there, man. But they desire it, man. They see an estrogen on your shirt getting choked and salivating out the mouth and on her knees and stuff like that. They're turned on. They're turned on, especially with just the millions of simps that are out here now. So this is just so realistic. <laughs> See, she's over here going, anybody else getting spanked? <laughs> right? <laughs> right? So, someone's father is out here, you know, really spanking. And apparently, you know, uh, you, don't, you don't want her to, you know, get, uh, get, get uh, you know, cutty, you know, from her body and stuff like that. But, you know, but they want it rough. Whoa, he calls it. Whoa. <clears throat> All right, so that's where you don't take this, though. <laughs> you don't take it that far. Like, you leave it at, at spanking and stuff like that. And you don't, and I think they use a the quote like, um, you don't spank out of a. You more so want to spank out of disappointment, but it's not really spanking over anger unless you did something really, really crazy. But you don't ever take it like this far. You don't. I think you called it a B word and stuff like that too. I mean, well, a lot of estrogens actually like being called that in the bedroom and stuff like that. But you don't, you don't take it to like, you know, you just start like <laughs> wailing on it though. But that's where a lot of men, but this is actually great that this is in this. Because that's what ends up happening in a lot of estrogen relationships. Is see, they want a man to put them in their place and discipline them, right? But a lot of men don't study estrogen nature um, and put too much thought into it. And he just realizes like, when I kind of just spank her, just put her in a place or whatever, that's when she like calms down, right? So that leads the dude just really throws her to the ground or really, really like, you know, strikes her and things like that. Because he didn't take the time to actually learn estrogen nature and stuff like that. Right? He's just going, look, when I do this to her, that's when she calms down and stops being emotional and irrational. So he'll go like too far with it. Oh, yeah, he called her B word. That got crazy. <laughs> what is this? Oh, you're gonna be wounded. <laughs> they should not have ended it right there. They should have continued that scene. What happened after that? All right, so, but that's great to show. <laughs> In the sense of estrogens will chase like these bad boys instead of chasing like the husband type because estrogens just don't know how to pick men. So, but they want to be like disciplined, but they're getting it from like a bad boy, really thug type of guy, right? Who's like really just going to strike you, right? And it's not, he doesn't know the logic behind it all, like of why to spank her, how to spank her. You don't do it really out of anger. It's more so out of disappointment, right? Um, you know, or just, you know, foreplay and stuff like that. But it's not to like, you know, I think he like hit her in the gut. <laughs> But they get that type of treatment, right? And they go, oh, well, this is better than kind of like simping until it gets like too far. And then, you know, they, and see, see, they like will start to be irrational and emotional and things like that. I don't want to be put in their place again. But the guy doesn't know the logic behind it all. So he's just going further and further with actually really striking her type of stuff, right? So then she goes, okay, I gotta leave this relationship because he's really, really like just kind of like, it's not like disciplining. He's just really like about to like end me. <laughs> Because they don't know how to find the guy that, like, understands the deep dynamics of it all. And it, it's to discipline her, put her in her place so she doesn't do it. You know, she knows who leads the home. But it's not to actually really, like, 
harm her and like actually really try to insult her unless she likes being called the b-word in the bedroom um but you'd more if it's your wife if you're using the b-word you'd more so want to do it in the sense of like um are you my little b but it's not in the sense of like you just be like it's not like that right so but that's great to just uh just show it all right i'm just gonna um just gonna top it off with a little bit of this okay a little bit of rada submissive wife happy life um go, go sub to her if you're if you're estrogen or you're a man she keeps it man knows a place submits to create a family and keep their family and uh women are out of order we do need domestic discipline um and so i talk about it because i actually love it so you know yeah all right so just gonna put the cherry on the top right there all right so you spank your estrogens but again man you don't go you don't go crazy with it, it you're not trying to actually harm them it, it's to discipline them but estrogens pick the bad boy thug guy who doesn't know the logic behind it all so he goes too far and she's like but I, I want discipline but like he's actually really like destroying me and that's i don't really want it like that but she stays a little while because it's better than these beta males who go like you're better than me you're just an almighty queen and things like that so she stays for a little while and then sometimes you know it just ends up being a terrible situation so you know it, it the spanking all in all is from love because estrogens are emotional and irrational and it's because you care that you're spanking her that she doesn't destroy herself you and the family that you two have built right so um yeah and we're gonna do videos as well too on what actually bad domestic discipline is and it's basically you just, like it's not trying to actually teach her stuff it just really is <laughs> just <laughs> just destroying her and that's not that's not what the game plan is all right so if you use other videos a thumbs subscribe let me know what you guys think down below and i'll see you guys later we out <gasps> peace Got me the snow man, ice cold with the hose man, knee pussy no relation, then send them back to their boyfriends. Got me the snow man, ice cold with the hose man, knee pussy no relation, then send them back to their boyfriends. Leave her chilly without jackets, I'm the snowman. Caught a squad doing trains, we weren't slaves.